Shalom and welcome to another episode of Living Supernaturally. We have been through the past few days looking at certain privileges of being children of God. And we're going to be looking at a very important privilege that we who are in Christ have, which is an eternal hope. Reading from scripture, John 10, 27 to 28. Jesus said, my, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. So as a child of God, you and I are assured of a hope that is eternal. So at the core of every human being, there is a quest for hope something that makes sense of all the chaos that's happening in life. But as the children of God, we have the single most important and greatest gift and a hope, which is our eternal security in Him. We also have this assurance that once we have given our life to Him, we are His forever. So this eternal hope doesn't only begin when we die, but from the moment that we have given our lives for Christ. And this future hope of eternal life uh, is something that we will see, is that we will receive that eternal, incorruptible, glorified, that place of dwelling in Christ's presence forever. Now this hope that we have is not, is not just a feeling, it is a reality. And when we build our hope on the foundation of our faith in Jesus, you and I can be sure that this hope will never fail us. And what is this eternal hope that we have? Or the eternal hope that every child of God has? It is that Jesus is preparing place for us and he will come back to take us. It is a place where there will be no sorrow, there will be no tears, there will be no pain. He is coming back to take us to enjoy all his riches in glory and you and I will be forever in his midst. Now even for those of you who are hearing it and are not assured of this eternal life, I'd like to give you this opportunity to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior because scripture says all those who believe in him will have eternal life. As I pray together, you can take this opportunity out of your own will to come to a relationship with him so that you can also have the same privilege that a child of God born into his family has. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come to you and pray for all those who have not received you as their Lord and Savior, who would desire to be your child. Lord, we ask God that you would instill in them a desire to have a relationship with you. As I pray, you could pray this after me. I come to you, Lord Jesus, and I declare and say that I am a sinner. Thank you for dying for me on the cross and giving me your love and your peace. Thank you that you have moved me from eternal death to eternal life because of my faith in you. I receive you as my personal savior and I ask that you live and reside in me. Thank you that you have made me your child. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.